Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's stream. Today is March 30th, 2018. Apparently, it's Good Friday. I've gone to the point where I don't even remember when holidays are. Apparently, Sunday's Easter and all that, so I don't know. I, I thought it was gonna, just going to be April Fool's, but apparently, they're on the same day this year. In any case, uh, we're going to go and play some Surviving Mars today and continue our little easy start colony, the colony that is doing a lot better than the last one. And before I do, I'd like to thank Not Sneaky for the tier 3 uh, sub, three months in a row. Thank you very much. And also TCTC for the uh, auto host there. Um, much appreciated. All right, let's go jump right into this. Load the game. I have to remember what the heck I was doing last Crop time. Failure Crop reported. failure. There are earth sick oh, colonists. Well. Resources are low. Seems to be reminding me of all the things that are wrong with my colony. Thanks, lady. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. So this is the new southern expansion. Let's, let's zoom out here. So he's, we expanded down here where we uh, got, got our two domes. Uh, I've named them. This one's Hillcrest and this one's South Point. Um, they're covering mostly this little pocket of rare metals and regular metals here. And let's see, what else do we got here? We also got our original colony down here, which is doing fairly well. We're just, we're just mainly around this metal deposit. This metal deposit is... Looks like it's going to run out at some, at some point, so i got to watch out for that. Um... Let's go to let's go to a normal speed here and watch. We've got the we've got a shuttle hub finally up and running, and I got I built a ref, I built a refinery next to it so so the drones can easily transport fuel to it. So we got some shuttles flying around. You can see Research they're complete. delivering one good at a time over here. Oh, I also didn't realize I launched. Which rocket is that? I guess I'll find out in a sec. Uh, let's see, Space Shark is sitting there. What's this one over here? Space Dolphin. They're all just refueling right now. I think I have another one. Nope, there are no rockets up here. Okay. So, let's see. Wait, let's take a look at our problems here. Um, building's not working. Yeah, Hillcrest, this dome right here is a bit of an issue. Um, because last time we... Yeah, there's... there's not enough people working here, or at least there's not enough residential space for people to work here. Um, that's mainly because I think this dome covers not just these two extractors, the metals and rare metals, but it also has the electronics factory. And the electronics factory has a lot of slots for people to work at. So, that's an issue. I think I might also need to check my research here. Um, where is research? Here it is. I think an electronics factory is probably more more appropriate for a medium dome because then you can actually put, build enough residential buildings and support buildings to uh, to to support that electronics factory. Um, I'm thinking if I have time, I can try to get the medium dome up and running, or at least research that. And then maybe put it close by. Um, though I th think if I actually let's do a little test here. I I, I was going to try to build a dome. I see. Yeah. If I maybe if I didn't expand this, I would have maybe put a medium dome right here, so it would actually cover that metal extractor as well. But there's actually a lot of rocks here, and I don't think we can. And a lot of unbuildable space over here, so I don't think we can do very much about that. Oh, we have a drone hub, which is being constructed right now. Oh yeah, because we're trying to expand to the east here, maybe try to grab this uh, metal. So we'll probably have a basic dome right here, and an extractor here. Because there, we can't, can't say no to more metals. In terms of other resources, um, we've explored the rest of this, or scanned the rest of this southwest corner. And there's really not much here. I should check out uh, up on my explorer drone here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. 
Uh, I think I'll get him to recharge, actually. I'm gonna get him to return to base. And then he'll go... We'll probably send him off to explore that little um, anomaly over there. Next. We also found some bugs with the uh, transport, so I haven't... I don't think I'm using... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't, actually, he's right there. I haven't actually done any sort of, I haven't established a trade route because of the way we uh, built our tunnel. Though actually, I think, technically we don't need this tunnel anymore. Well, I, I should probably still keep it, but I, I wonder if I should try rebuilding it so the transport can actually function a little better. Uh, but yeah, right now this this part of the colony is actually pretty self-sufficient now. It has its own moxies. It has its own water source right over here uh, it, We're producing its own concrete um, Yeah, it's pretty self-sufficient so in case in the event that this tunnel collapses or something or the connections broken uh, That's not gonna be a big issue uh, I think we were oh, yeah, we have a power situation. Yes. That's what I was remembering. Because we have... Okay, so that's why... Oh, I see why I built this drone hub. Because not only does it expand to the east there, it also covers these little areas here so we can actually start building a couple... We have a power uh, yes, shortage. Yes, just as I was saying. A couple of turbines here we can add on here. So... So we'll be doing that. Uh, what else? Did I ever order any... Let's see which, which rocket's going back. Space Whale's going back. I want to see... Did, in addition to um, these turbines, I want to see if I can find... Oh, fusion reactors. Oh, really? Where is nuclear fusion? That, that thing is showing up because I have the technology... At least it is researchable. But I don't know... Production? What is this one? Extractor upgrade. Production increased by the supply of fuel. Oh, wow. Shuttle speed increased by 33%. That's expensive. I guess it would be yeah, under physics. So nuclear fusion generates power out dome building, which requires workers to operate. Okay, so it's like... You have to go outside to that. That's a... A lot of stuff you need to... To build there. Okay, so, hmm, this building is curious to me. At least it'll be a better way of, the re it's 7,000 research points, which is a little ridiculous, but I don't know if that's, hmm, developing flaws. I should actually, oh, I already have, already have some. I'm basically queuing up all the cheap technologies. I want to get those out of the way. And then we can start researching other stuff. So I'll leave that alone. But yeah, if, you, if we get the fusion reactor, that would be... That would solve our power problems. But it would take a while to get to that point. So we still need to build... I still think it makes sense to just start building more turbines. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. We're going to expand into this direction anyway. So we need to find a way to get over there and I somehow I don't think there's actually any buildable area right here let me get a power cable and see if I can pull over this way oh I also need to turn on the music because that's very important uh let's today let's I feel like oh that's the wrong screen let's go with just regular old surviving Mars music I don't want I don't want any uh with all the other channels you get um these sort of narrators which kind of make it hard to stream because, or for myself to talk, because I have to always talk over them. There we go. So my power cable can get up to there. We might be able to get through here. Let's see. Don't think I can. Yeah, I think there is a little. Oh yeah, we can build through there. Let's see if the pipe can also go through that way, because sometimes if the terrain is too uh, sloped, it doesn't allow that. Let's go for pipes. 
No, it seems... Okay, we found... We found a connection. So with this extra space, I can actually then put in additional turbines, because I'm again going with, I'm going with the doctrine of trying to spread everything around. So not put all my turbines or power generators all in one place. So I think I'm actually going to put one right behind there. And then maybe another one here. And you know, why not? Let's put one... Oh, I can actually fit one right there. Maybe I should just make... I, just, I should just put turbines all over this thing. So maybe another one there. Sure, let's just put put them all, all over the place here. Actually, I'll put one on this side. Now, usually when I build a turbine, I also include an additional accumulator as well as a sterling generator. We could order a few more sterling generators from Earth. Because I think we have the money. Yeah, we, we have a little bit of money left. But I think that could run out if I'm not careful. Uh, we could just build our own sterling generators. They cost quite a bit of, bit of polymer, but we are producing a lot. And some electronics, which we do need to maintain our buildings. I think I'll just start off with one uh, sterling generator. Maybe put it... Uh, where's a good spot for this? Put it right there. We also have the problem of a lot of our colonists are getting earth sick. It, it seems like this colony, this dome seems to be a problem when it comes to the, that. I'm not sure what to do there. I can also keep on sending more passenger rockets, but it seems like I'm, I'm just cycling through them. It doesn't seem to make a difference. I have a polymer factory down here, don't I? Yes, right here. And that one's amplified and full production. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get another passenger rocket over here. Okay, so 18 colonists. Let's get two scientists, botanists. I'm going to go for the specialization people first. And then the rest will be non-specialists. Space Walrus, launch. Okay, so it looks like they're constructing this turbine, or these turbines. Probably add another one. Not sure how far I'm going to do this, but I'll, put, I'll probably add one more turbine. Right here. And then this drone hub only goes up to there, so more than likely we'll need a second drone hub to uh, cover that metal deposit and put a dome there. Okay, I'm going to speed the game up. Uh, how do I do this? Three? Nope, I have to push... Let's push the, my mouse there. Yeah, power. Yeah, here's the weird thing. So during nighttime, my power... My power... I, I am accumulating power. I'm getting a surplus because no, most of the buildings that are being used are not... Because, because people are sleeping. But during the daytime, this actually goes down. Even though I have a whole bunch of solar panels. Though actually now I think we're doing a lot better. That's a that's a much lower shortage than I saw before. We could try to mitigate this by building even more solar plants even. Um, I don't think I'd mind doing that. I think we can put one right here. Stick, an, stick another scanned. accumulator there. Maybe another sterling. Check our sector scanage. Uh, no resources in that sector. And then we're going to scan this one. Um, this uh, southeast corner doesn't look very good. Resources are low. Or at the very least, we can't break through it. There's a lot of obstacles there. I think the next thing, next place we're going to start exploring is up here. I'm going to see... I'm going to try scanning places that say that there, there's a high chance of finding stuff there. So let's go here. Concrete metals. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Oh, that's a rare metals one. But you know what? Let's scan that one first. Like that. I'm just going to do a bit of random scanning. Maybe that one as well. Okay. Um, Research complete. Resources okay, are electronics are low. That's not good. Yeah, 
There's not enough people working here. Hmm. I think one thing I'll, I think one thing I'm gonna do is actually start extracting concrete here, and probably once I get all the concrete here, I'll put a, a third dome right here because there seems to be a problem with this dome here. It doesn't seem to be. Or maybe the medium dome can fit right in the middle here. So what I'm gonna do actually, let's pause right here. Let's start extracting this stuff. Concrete extractor. Let's start from this side. Actually, probably even go over this thing. 360... Uh, yeah, let's put it right there. We also need to connect power to it. I think I'll, I'm just gonna go... How to do this properly? Okay, I have to... I have to hmm. I kind of have to go around... Can I do this? I'm not sure if that connects to the... The extractor itself, but we'll see in a sec. All the drones are gonna go build that now. Oh, uh, Space Walrus has arrived. I'm gonna get him to try to keep this this colony up and running. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, these uh, there's not enough people working at this factory because everyone's freaking Earth sick. Yeah, there go all the people. So 12 have colonists arrived. have arrived, but I'm expecting a whole bunch to start leaving droves. We also need to get get some storage space for all this damn food here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's put in another set of food depots here. And I think one of our rocket space dolphins is about to launch. Get rid of him. Check our polymer production, cause I'm noticing that we're not. Well, according to this, we're producing 15 polymers, but apparently we're not. Oh, electronics maintenance is higher than production. Need to figure that out pretty soon. Let's add, let's add a few more dumping sites, cause I'm noticing these are filling up fast. few there. Okay, so that one's... It might be because we built all these sterling generators. Um, they cost... Each of them costs 12 polymer. Which I don't think it's liking very much. So I'm gonna see if we can maximize polymer production. This factory is... Doesn't quite have all the people there. Got a casino there that's not even... Actually, this colony is not even full yet. Might decide... I could build a third uh, apartment here, maybe. Must be connected to a power... Pre okay, so yeah, this, this power cable is not actually the right, the right location for this. So what I'm gonna do... Yeah, you have to connect it to the building, thing. Uh, the building itself, not the uh, not the place where it's actually extracting it. So I'm gonna build a cable through here if I can, and then I guess the uh, Sterling generator would probably go right there. I'm kind of debating whether I should uh, build another apartment here. Or just simply get more people. I mean, a lot of these buildings actually still don't have enough people. Hmm. I think we'll wait for one more passenger rocket. We'll probably land another one right here. And then, if that's still not enough to get, all of, get a lot of these buildings employed, then I'm going to uh, build build another apartment complex there. Check our research. So right now we're doing a whole bunch of of easy research. I think what else do we get? Moxie upgrade. 
microgravity medicine. Martian-born colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums, sanatoriums and have a higher chance to gain perks from schools. Hmm. I'll call this game. Nope, not with that. Drones carry two resources at once. That would be very useful. Yeah, let's get that one next. It's, it's an expensive... Actually, no. Yeah, no, that's fine. I could also... No, we need, we need to keep extracting metals and stuff. So, yeah, this one's a good one to get. Martian University... Actually, no, Martian University is what we want next. Uh, hold on. Okay, actually, let's get the medium dome first. And then education, and then this. And then also, the we need to get our own electronics factory as well. So that one's extracting. Check our power situation. We have a water shortage. Don't know if we can. Can def. Uh, okay, I don't want to amplify that. Can I amplify any of the water extractors that we have? We have three of them right now. They're all amplified. Sector scanned. There's no resources there. Okay. Let's send the explorer. I think it's the only anomaly in this area. Research complete. And. Yeah, we still have a water shortage. Or or at least we're looks like production is matching demand. We have a bunch of stored water, but I'm not really comfortable with that uh I want to make sure that we always have a surplus so we don't we're not using the supplies from our towers. So it might be time to expand and grab one of these water resources. I've not even built a, a vaporator because of the abundance of water on this map. Is there concrete in this area? I don't know if we're extracting... Oh yeah, we're not extracting concrete in this this part of the colony. So, uh, to fix that, let's go... We need another extractor. And this one's gonna go... Hmm... Could build it right there. It kind of blocks the way. So maybe I'll build it like this and just just allow that power cable to go through. 414. 428. I'll just build it right in the middle here, maybe. Or maybe maybe like this. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then the water extractor will be right next to it. Actually, it doesn't even have to be right on top of it. It could be like... Right behind it like this. And then the power cable... We'll have to just essentially go around them. Oops. Like, right around here. And then we'll need to connect our pipe over there as well. So... I guess I could have even done that, but there's a, there's a concrete storage in the way. Actually, let me get rid of this. You know what, this... This power cable doesn't make any sense anymore. Because... Yeah, let's get... You know what, let's get rid of this power cable. We're going to... Salvage that part. Also salvage this concrete depot. Okay. And then... Connect the cable like so. And make the pipe also connect. And this one has to go around. And then we can build another... Maybe a, another concrete storage. So, MDS laser. Oh it's, oh, it's a meteor defense system. Ooh. That's useful. Concrete depot. Uh, let's put this guy... Oh, I don't know. 
Actually, what, let me see here. This hub connects to that area. What about where is it? Where is the hub in this area? Oh, right over here. So actually, putting the if I put the concrete hub actually closer down here, then at least uh, the concrete can be easily more easily transported. So I'm actually going to put the put those concrete depots right over here. I think that's still in range of this this thing, I think. Maybe not. I'm gonna have to maybe do it over here instead. We also need some more dumping sites because there's a lot of waste products still. So I'm gonna put a few more up here. And we can also build some towers as well because it's always a good idea. Do I don't think I can I don't think I can build build it there. Hmm. Gonna have to stick it in somewhere here. Yeah, let's just build it right there. What did I have here? I had power. I could also build some Oh, I need to... I can build a couple more solar panels as well, just to improve on that. Maybe another sterling generator. Another accumulator. And over here, I could build another power system, but I'm going to wait until... Could We could extract some more concrete down here. Why do I have these people marked? Get rid of these people. And this new drone hub is not needed. Don't need to know about that. Yeah, law. Okay, I think I see why these people are earth sick. Because, because we're prioritizing metals and rare metals, these other buildings are not getting the love they need. So maybe what I'm going to do is actually ease off on the priority on these extractors. So, turn that one down a bit. Uh, where's our, our... Yeah, we'll turn down the priority on these three extractors here. And it's my hope that because of the lower priority, they're not even working here. This, this thing is broken down. I'm hoping that they'll actually start working at these places instead. That's my hope, anyway. I think I do have... Research labs are high priority, though. Which is... Which is what we want. We need to try to... We only have about 35 days before... Or 35 souls until... Our goal of we need to research 40 technologies. I think we're pretty well on our way though. I'm gonna do a little quick count here. So that's five, seven, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, because we're gonna get that one, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Yeah, okay. I think I still I think I still think it's worth to just try to try to go overboard with that goal. More technologies won't hurt us. Research complete. Research complete. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what's happening here. So because so in this dome because I've prioritized electronics, all these other buildings are also going out of service. I'm going to turn the priority down in electronics a little bit. Hopefully we'll start seeing some employment in these other buildings, and at least keep people from, I hope, leaving. Uh, let's bring our explorer back. Do, 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 do. I really like the music. They've, they've really... The music in this game is pretty top-notch. Like, the fact that you can change different radio stations is... Pretty nice. So 
So in case you're me, if I'm ever in a more of a Western pioneering mood, I could always change to Red Frontier if I wanted to. Okay, some of these buildings are not. Oh oh, shit. Okay, I was worried about this. So, crap. So, here's the problem. Uh, we have, because of our separation of our colonies, electri yeah, so down there, I don't think there's any goods here that are needed by the above side. Well, actually, machine parts, probably. So that, that thing there. And also, yeah, polymers are produced by both sides. So... I wish I was able to make a trade route that brought machine parts from down below up here and then electronics I can send down into the crater below there, or the valley I should say. Um, what I could do is simply load up on some electronics maybe right now just to... So load electronics. I don't... This is the one drawback of having sort of this two-tier colony here. Because you can't produce... A fully self-sufficient colony would be able to produce all of its goods on its own. But we can't do that because there's no rare metals in the crater. Actually... I'm not even sure if having these domes here makes any sense anymore. It's This is what we started off with. But once this metal runs out, it's actually about to run out. Then there's actually no point in having this dome here. There's no... It's just a bunch of people living here. We do have this uh, this colony, this, uh, this dome, the foundation colony. Or foundation dome, which actually produces children for us. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. Okay, what, what is that sector there? Okay, so yeah, some metals there, some good stuff there. Yeah, because I don't need colonists to extract the concrete or the water. So really, there's no... I might actually dismantle these, these domes at some point. Once this metal runs out. Because there's no point in having all this down here. And solar panels, like... There's no point of having that either. We've, we've already explored most of this crater. I don't think there's anything in these hills here, so... Yeah, this could this will pretty much turn into an automated portion of the colony instead of having any people. We'll pro yeah, let's, let's do that. We're going to move all the people out of here eventually, up to here. Because there's no point in having them down there. Okay, as I was... Oh, I should continue to grab electronics. I think I might also bring in a shipment of electronics. Let's see. Uh, yeah, maybe electronics and polymers. So, how do I... Oh. oh. I think my game just crashed. Wow. Wow. Oh, no, it just froze. That's a little weird. I should probably save the game because I've seen this game crash a few times. And it's not fun. Okay, let's go with... Actually, you know what? Say, let's save first. Because I'm paranoid. Okay, Soul 66. And then Cargo Rocket, I would like... I would like... Lots of... Ooh, that's expensive. 60 electronics. Machine parts we're doing okay. Though I think we'll have to move our machine parts factory up there. Hmm. I also think... I also think I should build a pre... Get an electronics prefab, maybe. Or machine parts prefab. I think we can build our own machine parts factory now. Don't remember. Just go with 
this. Electronics, polymers, food, metals. Metals is okay. Orbital probe. Electronics factory. That costs 600 million. Actually, I want to. Do we have machine parts factory unlocked here? Yeah, no, we don't. And I don't know if we have the technology to do that. I think it's under engineering. It's electronics. Oh, there's our ecology. That would be useful for one of our domes. Oh, there it is. 3D machining. Okay, that's not a bad technology to get. But this uh, electronics factory is quite expensive, so I'm actually... Let's go back to the cargo screen. We're gonna, I'm going to bring in one... One... Uh, one prefab of electronics factory, because I want to... Actually, we already have this... We already have the dome that had... I don't think we need another one. I was thinking maybe moving that factory somewhere else. Hmm... You know what, I'm, just, I'm still going to get this just in case. In case we need to build one. So let's go electronics here. All the electronics. Let's go 80, 85, 90. Okay. That's pretty much most of our money. We might have to start selling off uh, rare metals at this point. Okay, Space Shark launch. I'll also, let's get another passenger rocket over here. There we go, lots of people wanting to come here. Geologists, scientist, engineer, scientist, botanist, officer, get some more non-specialization people here. There we go, space whale launch. And actually, I'm gonna set one of these rockets, actually I think this is the only rocket, space walrus. I'm going to set him up to start loading rare metals because we do have we do have a sizable sum that we can uh, glean from there. And I'm also I'm also going to accelerate the concrete extraction because I want to be able to get place a dome right in this little fun fun zone here. I'm going to put in let's put in another two extractors up here. Okay, let's connect our power. Uh, this one's gonna have to go around that way. And this one's not quite at the edge there, so it has to... Oh, wait, still connected to there. Let's um, have to do that. Okay, we're just gonna group, we're just gonna extract all this concrete as much as we can. I think this one might... Uh, die off pretty soon. And yeah. I th oh, is that a... Oh, it's a little twisty thing. I'm gonna move my, dro my rover out of the way in case that comes any closer. And oh, where's, my, where's our transport? We gotta bring some electronics down there. At least the ones that we have. Only two electronics. Wow. Okay, well. We'll land... So, I think Space Shark is is, the, is our cargo rocket. So it's going to land in the crater. So at least uh, deliver goods there. But my plan is to unlock the medium dome once these extractors are done. And we're going to build it smack in the middle here. And then move everyone from our our two original domes over there. And I hope that's going to solve some of our issues. Oh, they've already... <laughs> the drones have already taken the electronics off that thing, so... Can't really do anything about that. Okay. What's this thing? Oh, well, that's a... Accumulator. So... So our concrete production is humongous, but I'm, I'm okay with this because we're going to need a lot of concrete to rebuild a lot of our domes. We're also going to get some goods from dismantling this uh, infrastructure we have all over here. And then we 
need to start considering expanding up here somehow. I don't know how we're going to get way over there, though. That's a, that's a long way away. If there were if there are resources closer next to here, then I'd probably consider going this this way. But actually, there might be something right here. Let's go. Some metals there, maybe. Let's go check that little corner out. Yeah, this yeah this metal deposit deposit's about to run out. Space Walrus is ready to go, but oh, it's actually loaded all thirty of our metals. So let's launch that. Goodbye, Space Walrus. I'm also curious how much, because it's a full load of rare metal, though. I'm curious how much, how much money we'll get back from that thing. Idle extractors. Oh, yep. As I, as I, predict, as I predicted, this extractor ran out. So let's. Uh, how do I destroy this one? Salvage. And also, okay, Space Shark with our electronics is going to land down here, because there is no electronics production down here. So I'm going to place that, this is probably a good spot right here. And then our space whale, I think I'll land this one next to South Point here, this other dome. Put it right there. But yeah, I think I should also consider because there's a lot of things that use up electronics for maintenance, like this, like the shuttle hub. So I might turn that off or dismantle it. So you got a moxie there. Hmm. Explorers back there. Okay, so we got 12 new colonists here, but even then... Are they actually working right now, or what is going on here? Oh, some of them are, some of them are earth sick. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Hmm. Something seems weird here. Okay, so that polymer factory is at full production. I thought I built that third water extractor already. Oh, I better amplify this one. And I think it's already, oh, it's already filling all these, uh, uh, dumping sites. Here, get a few more of those going. Hmm. But yeah, I should see here... I'm not seeing any increase in water production. It might be because our tower, our water towers are full anyway. So maybe that's probably what's happening. Also check how, how much... Got lots of rare metal left, so that's, a, that's good to see. And lots of metal left in that deposit. We probably should... Research Why am I complete. Keeping track of some people here. Okay, Space Shark is ready to go. I think I'll also, you know what? I'm gonna get him to load up on all on uh, rare metals as well. I'm gonna sell sell that. Funding received. Seven hundred fifty million dollars. Okay, it's not a billion dollars, but it's. It helps a little bit. Why are these all these people earth sick? I don't understand. Like I've I've given them all they need. Or at least I think I have. Hmm. Maybe that's a Bit premature there. Okay, so Space Whale is loading up on that. I think this guy. Oh, this. Oh, Space Shark is also ready to go. I think I'm just going to launch him. I think we're producing lots and lots of fuel. I think that's why. Yeah, we've got tons of fuel right now.
I mean, if all these people are earth sick, I'm not sure why they're not they're not just leaving. I wish they would just go away. Because like right over here, we have a pretty stable colony. At least for as far as I can see. Like no one the weird thing is no one over here is earth sick. Like it's all everyone is happy and productive here. Whereas over on on these southern domes, I haven't been able to get them to do very much. And there's a lot of people here. Hmm, I should have probably looked that up on the internet and see what the hell Earth sick means. Actually I think there is a there's an encyclopedia. Is there a thing that explains earth sickness in here? Dust and maintenance, power district life support. Nope. Research founders. Okay, that's not it. Colonists. Specialized colonists would prefer to work in buildings corresponding to their individual specifications. All colonists died, the Mars colonization will be terminated. So I don't see anything about Earth sickness moving between domes. Colonists may migrate to new domes within walking distance, so they may move on their own. Okay, management, specialization, and traits. Haven't I, I haven't got a university yet. Oh, Sanatorium Spire, that that can remove undesirable flaws, that's interesting. Rover and Drone Control, Not, doesn't say anything about Earth Sickness in here. Hints. RC Transport. Mm, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Comfort, Stat, and Services, too early to place a dome. Oh, there it is. Earth sick colonist. Colonists with very low comfort will get earth sick. They will stop working and travel back to earth at first opportunity. To prevent this, make sure they have access to a variety of operational service buildings. Oh, okay. So I, I basically, because I was so focused on getting them to extract all these metals, none of these service buildings were actually staffed properly. So I think we just need to wait for those colonists to get out of here, and then we can just put in the put in the new colonists in there, and that should be enough, I think. Hey Court, how's it going? Oh, you're probably at the MRT UK meetup at the moment. I hear it's, uh, I hear there's a lot of alcohol involved. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah, let me know how it goes. I'm curious how I'm curious of what you guys are gonna be talking about at such a meetup. It's kind of it is kind of weird, you know. To uh... you should ask uh, Court. You should ask Robin about because he's the only one who's actually Court and Major. You should ask them um, their opinions about or like when I met up with them in London many years back. Sector I'm sure he has a, a few stories about that. Uh, okay, space whale is not quite loaded yet. Where it's like 20 out of 30. 29 out of 30 on this. Where's that drone? There it is. There he is. Are you coming to load? No, you're just you're 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 delivering food, aren't you? Okay, never mind that. Research complete. Hmm. Where's the where's the 30th? Court says they still remember that. I'm I'm, I'm sure they did. I, do I still have the postcard? I, it's probably somewhere around here. Uh, I have to look, go look it up here. And LD says, we've all drunk a fair amount. I'm not surprised by that either. Storage space is full for what? Concrete? Oh shit. I should put in some concrete depots here. Because, there we go. And that one's loading. The Irish JJ from Major. I wanted you to see how much I have grown up. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I can imagine. I was thinking of going to that this meetup, but but the cost of flights over down, especially to not just to London, but all the way up to Manchester is it was a bit too much for me. Maybe I should have gone. Maybe I should have gone, but oh well. Okay, so the concrete is now getting stored in our little storage space here. Uh, oh, we have one. Okay, our metal is now out of service. There is no more metal in this deposit. So I mean, the, I mean, these people here don't need to, don't need to be working here. So I'm gonna actually destroy that building. Okay, space whale is ready to go. Launch. I mean, I really did want to go, but the co again, the cost of the flights there was just it was just a bit too much. I think it was because it was such short notice. If I had had booked the flight, uh, maybe maybe six months uh, notice, then maybe it might have been better. But uh, yeah. Oh well. I'm sure you. Hopefully, you guys will do another meetup, and maybe I will try to make the flight out there again. It's been a while. Personally, I'd like to, I would like to go see London again, because um, I had a lot of fun there. There's, there's a lot of things I did not get to see there. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, LD, I'll take a look at the pictures later. I'm trying to figure out my colony here. It's kind of, kind of in a critical stage. Okay, so we got rid of this metal extractor. Oh, I gotta destroy it too. So that means that opened up a few people to work in other places. That's that's okay. In some ways, I kind of want to leave these domes alone, but eh, I don't know. I mean, we still have a polymer factory down here. But again, if we need to bring electronics down here, that's going to be a problem. Gods wants to do a meetup in Canada. Oh boy. Uh, actually, I wonder. I wonder if somewhere like Toronto might be a good place to do it because I know people from the East Coast, from U.S. and Canada, might be able to. I want to try to go up there. But. Um, I haven't been to. I've never been to Toronto, actually. Um, it's weird because I, I, when I went on my Europe trip those many years ago, I just, I just flew way above Eastern Canada, not even visiting there. And I've, I've not been to Montreal or basically anywhere east or east, further east than Calgary. So, uh, you guys should not. You should guys stop watching the stream. You should. You should go. Go have fun. Go play. Weren't you guys going to play some mini golf or something? Like, keep on drinking. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this shit out here. Okay. So power's there. What am I missing here? Am I researching medium domes? No, I'm not. Oh, I have it already. Okay. So I just need to get... Okay, so I have medium domes. What the hell else, else do I need? Medical... Mm, okay. Medical center. Hatch larger capacity is more effective than the infirmary. Hmm. Residences and basic domes have improved comfort. Oh. That's a not, that's not a bad one to get. So the security medics. So this one will give us 500 million in funding. Pine says this is fun. Okay, well, you, you do what you want. I'm just gonna... Okay. Machine parts factory. Definitely need that. That's very important. Smart homes and smart complex. Oh, I can build these instead of apartments. That'll actually improve comfort as well. I get that as well. Actually, you know what? Oh, we should do this in order. So, maybe smart homes first, and then this thing, and then machine parts. 
And maybe one other thing. Drone assembler. Auction production. Could get that one. Yeah, might as well get that one. Okay. So, again, the game doesn't tell me how much concrete is left in these three things. And uh, there's actually probably another another place for another concrete. So, you know what? I'm just going to build a fourth extractor here. Why not? Just try to get all the damn concrete from this thing. So that's going to be 276. And we're just going to connect the cable like that, I guess. So we're, we're going to clean out all this concrete and try to build a medium dome here. I think we can actually start building Sector scan. our dome over here for this metal deposit because, you know, might as well get more metal. We can actually maybe even move our machine parts factory up there. Actually, this, this machine parts factory doesn't make any sense anymore because there's no metals. Or at least there, there's there's some stored metals here, but that's going to run out, and we're not transporting metals from the from down south here, not down into into the valley there. So I might actually um, I'm actually going to turn this off, I think, or actually salvage it. No one's Funding there's not that many people working here anyway. Fred says, "Go sober up, kiddos. Your kidneys are going to fail." I mean, they're not. I hope they're not going to drink too much and become rowdy. So we're going to blow up that machine parts factory. We're going to build, probably build a new one over here. I actually kind of wonder if I should build maybe a medium dome over here instead. Hmm. Probably not, because there's only one source of metals here. I don't think that's really needed. Okay, let's build... Oh, we need to build a second drone hub first before we get there. So let's do that. I will build this hub maybe right here. Uh, how do I do this? Hub, 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 hub. Drone hub. So let me just look up this thing here. I want to build it right... Maybe a little bit further away right here. Shit, I don't even know where that is. There we go. And then we can put storage spaces on the, the far side here. I think, yep. Because that'll be accessible by both the hubs. So let that get built. And then we have to figure out how to put the dome in that area. Not sure where. I'm going to do that. Oh geez, this, these dumping sites got filled up very quickly. More dumpu, dump, dump, dumpu. Dump, dumpu, dump, dump, dump. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of dumping sites because if we're gonna have four extract concrete extractors here, it's gonna be actually. You know what? That's not enough. We need more, more dumping sites. Actually, I don't think we have enough space here because uh, of that power cable. I think the best I can do is probably oh, I don't know, maybe one more there. I'm gonna have to find another location, maybe around these rocks here, because I don't think we're gonna be able to build very much in this area anyway. Oh, I actually built it there. Okay. See, I'm just going to build in this rocky area here. Because I don't think we can build any buildings there anyway. Okay. Uh, so there's our... How much, how much concrete are we making? 80 concrete. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. And even this rare metal extractor is not... Because I've lowered the priority, they're not being employed very, very well. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, at least, at least for now we do have. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh, I just noticed. Okay, because we destroyed the machine parts factory, or factory, factory. Um. We need. We actually need to get this dome up and running. Get that machine parts factory built. I hope there's a hub so we can start doing that right now. Okay, basic dome. We're going to build it. How to do this? Actually, you know what? Let's bring the power cables in first. Mm, probably right here, then down like this. So if I put the dome right here, I could even put it right next to. It doesn't have to be. We don't have to put the dome. So too far away. Not enough power, but something like this. And then that way we can let's put the mineral extractor in first. So right here would be probably be good. And we can build our power cables. Actually all the way around. That, that connects pretty that, that, that connects actually very nicely, right next to that extractor. And since, uh, I mean, there's no other way of connecting power there, but we're going to try to put in some, some other things here. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> so we probably need a moxie in this area. This is a backup, or at least, at least one that'll supply this, uh, this dome. I think I'll put this moxie... Actually, a bit farther out. Oh, there's, why is this? Why is this blocking objects there? Is it because I have no pipes there? Maybe. Let's put our pipes in first. Really? Oh, because oh, I see. Because that's that's actually blocking the. There's a part of the moxie that's actually. It should be like this, I think. So put a moxie there, put a couple of oxygen tanks in some key places, like maybe right here, and one next to the moxie. Actually, let's see, maybe put a water tower instead. There we go. Oxygen tank, okay. Hmm... Actually, that's, that's probably not a good good location for an auction tank. I probably want one in case there's a disconnection from the moxie there. So maybe right here is a better spot. Check our power as well. Yeah. I'm kind of wary of building more wind turbines because... Resources are low. And metals... Actually, I think I think it might be better to start amplifying some of these wind turbines. I think some of them are. So we're gonna I'm gonna actually do that. Some of them are already amplified. Like, yep, so that one's amplified. This one's not. So this this amplification gives yeah th plus thirty three percent production. So that's better than building more turbines, I guess. At least for now. Try to select as many of these. I think all of these ones are amplified. Yep. Okay. So that, that's going to cost us some polymer. Got our moxies. We got our power. We got our oxygen. We have devastating news. Oh. Oh. Th oh. So this is a story. The last war before the storm. A chain of attacks has reduced to. Reduced to ruins, major temples and landmarks in Southeast Asia. Preliminary estimates put the body count in the hundreds. Despite the scale of the attacks, the perpetrators are believed to be terrorists of a new kind. So far, no one has taken responsibility as tensions are high and the blame game is in full swing. There is still a lot of confusion. We'll, we will be following the events as they unfold. That's pretty scary. I can, so this this is this storyline is different from the dredgers from the first colony. 
considering the name of it's called The Last War, it feels like Earth is gonna kill itself. Oh, hey, Torias. Thanks for coming by today. Okay, so we got this colony. Need some more metals over there. But yeah, it would be pretty scary if you're like, you're a colonist from Earth, you're on Mars, and then suddenly Earth dies, like it, or just becomes un uninhabitable. That's pretty damn scary. Okay. Oh, our polymer factory is dead because we have no machine parts up here. Let's go fix that. Uh, where is our tr little RC transport? I'm going to grab some machine parts from down here. So we can repair the stuff up, up in the south there. Let's go grab some from uh, these areas here as well. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Sector scanned. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna check that out in a sec. Where's our transport? Oh, there you are. You went that way. So I'm just gonna grab, let's see, maybe... I don't know, maybe try to fill this thing with... Maybe not fill it, because I don't think we have enough... We have a lot of machine parts. But I'm just gonna try for... Oh, I don't know. 21.5 machine parts. A colonist has oh, died. really? So 24.5 machine parts. I think we can grab a little bit more. I don't know where we, where we can get it though. Mm, I guess that's enough. Okay, we're just gonna go back to the tunnel. Try says, not sure if this is a thing in the US, but it is Carry Friday, so no one going out dancing tonight in Germany. Yeah, it is, uh, yeah. here in the Ameri in North America, it's called Good Friday. It's usually a, from what I can tell, it's usually a school holiday. In the wake of the oh. attacks in Asia, many dormant grievances between the nations affected have been reignited, some of which go far back in time. Yeah, so in Good Friday, it's a school holiday, but for most people, I think most people work on Good Friday. Or no. No, sorry, I got that wrong. It is it is a holiday for many people. So, well, for people working, it's Easter Monday, the Monday after, where people, where, it's, where, it, where it also is a school holiday, but most people work during that day. So I got, sorry, I got those wrong. Let's read this. The UN has set out a tension meter as it warns that this situation has the potential to escalate into an all-out war if measures aren't taken. The goal of the meter is to try to give an objective representation of where things are now and to help us understand what works and what doesn't. Everyone in the UN is asked to step in and do all they can to help calm the spirits. So far, we can see no adequate way to help from here. Effect. You must find ways to keep the tension from reaching 100%. Upon bringing tensions down to 0%, the conflicts on Earth will be successfully resolved. Tensions will rise up from events that happen on Earth and are out of your control. So what can I do from here to reduce tensions? That seems... Okay, 10%. So this will go up on its own just if I just leave it alone, but... There might be... Oh, what is a suicide? That's what happened. That's bad. Okay. Okay, that's not good. I have a lot of Earth sick colonists, too. Okay, so we brought the transport back up here, so we now we, now we have a bunch of machine parts. We can start repairing a few things up here. I feel like I might be doing some of this wrong. Uh, oop, unload. Unload there. Red says, Good Friday is a religious holiday. Yeah, nowadays it seems to be more like a statutory holiday. Or at least that. It's usually that holiday that we have in April or March. Around that period of time. <clears throat> it's a little odd that this year the holiday falls on April Fool's Day, which is... 
gonna be interesting. Uh, speaking of, for people that are watching right now, um, I will be doing a stream on April 1st, on Sunday. Um, it will be an MRT server, mainly an MRT server geared stream. So uh, for the first hour, I will be just going beyond the Minecraft server, just seeing what kind of April Fool's shenanigans that are happening on the server. And then that'll be followed by Jackbox games. Uh, Jackbox, Party Pack 3 and 4, and Drawful 2. The same sort of thing that we did on, uh, on, uh, on uh, New Year's Eve. So if you're interested in joining in for that, Feel free to come by, even if you're not a member of the MRT server. Resources um, we'll figure out a way to... Usually most of the people who will be participating will be on one of the discords, probably the MRT server discord. So we'll probably figure out how to get that going. Okay. <clears throat> I should really look at what I'm doing here. This dome needs metal. And... Nobody's working on metal here. What the hell is wrong with these people? Oh, they're all earth sick. Well, just go back to earth then. Oh dear. Geologist, medic. Yeah. <clears throat> the first domes that I made in the crater were really good. You can tell that everyone is actually doing very well. But as soon as I went to these southern parts it didn't seem to they suddenly decided oh I I don't like this anymore so I'm gonna have to get those earth those earth sick colonists out of here mm, let's go for botanist no specialization I mean, you know what we're, we're just gonna get two passenger rockets because we have a lot of people wanting to get over here. Scientist. Actually, we already have enough scientists there. Get some non-specialization people. Okay, so that should be Space Whale and Space Shark. We're going to land them next to this colony here. And get all these Earth-sick people out of here, because they're they're consuming resources, and they're not doing any work, so... Hmm, it's not good here. At least we have this thing still here. You can see why... And I'm starting to see the part about the surviving part of surviving Mars. Because it's, it's just a constant struggle of trying to find new sources of metals and rare metals. And then trying to keep your citizens happy. I probably shouldn't have built so much uh, redundancies in this thing because we actually haven't had a disaster yet. Like no, we have a, we had a couple meteors here and there, but no, no like meteor storms like the like the first first mission. Dry says, yeah, it is the remembrance day for the crucifixion, and old laws prohibit dancing celebration on the day on that day. Germany. So no going out to the club tonight. I see. I personally, myself, I don't, I never go to the club. I don't see the enjoyment of it anyway, so I guess, I guess I'm okay in that regard if I ever lived in Germany. Is there something I'm missing here? I feel like... We have a security station. Is there not enough not enough things for people to do in this place? Like there's a lake. Should I build and little try to build some more facilities here to make people happy? Could build a diner. We have a grocer, I think. Art workshop, which will consume polymers, which we are producing, but. I'm gonna build a diner here. Why not? Just to try to try to keep people happy in here. In this in this building here, or in this dome, I could build a diner also there, or maybe just build a, build a small decoration. Maybe let's build. I could build a large fountain. 
Mm, let's build a garden. Tri says it's a point of contention every year, like summer winter time. I see. You can see the war tensions going up again. But honestly, I don't know what... It says... The game has said that... Or at least this mission... has said that there are things that I can do to reduce attention, but I'm not sure what those things are. Because I'm way over here, and like, I'm not even near Earth. So... I guess it'll prompt me later on and tell me... Oh, you can... Do this thing to... Help bring world peace. Research complete. I don't know. Okay, smart home... Got researched, and then... Okay. So I think for this dome, we will build some smart homes. Or actually, what else do we have? We also have smart complexes, don't we? Let's go take a look here. Smart... Aha. Smart home. Residential space four. Wow. Oh, but it only... Oh, I see. So actually, let's compare this. So living quarters takes a whole triangle. So that's 14 people there. A smart home is a single unit. It only holds four, but it only... It only takes up... Um, a third of that. Or less than a third, actually. But I did notice that... It does require electronics for maintenance. Electronics is not something I'm really doing very well at. I also have a smart complex. I see, a smart complex takes the whole block. It remove. It, I, this is actually slightly less efficient because... Well, actually, no. Because... I see. So it's kind of a trade-off. I, I, I can build three of these smart homes. The maintenance cost will be 1.5 electronics. But I will be able to build something in the very middle, like a garden or something. So that, there's that. Or I can build a smart complex, the maintenance cost for electronics is one, but I get rid of that thing in the middle. This is actually probably a better idea, because electronics is quite... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. I, I'm not comfortable with building a smart complex yet, though, because I'm not I'm not confident that our electronics production is high enough to support that. In either case, we're going to land some passengers here now. I'm going to actually put I'm going to try to put this one put one one to each here because uh, I want to get these uh, Earth sick colonists out of here. There you are. They're not doing anything for us. Okay. New colonists have so I'm arrived. hoping... I don't know why these why these guys are not leaving yet, though, because there is... The, uh, the rocket's available and ready to go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn off ex exports. I don't want to export any rare metals right now. Low on metals and machine parts. Okay, so this dome... Oh, we need metals. Can I send a cargo rocket, maybe? <laughs> I wonder how much metals... We can get a whole metal infusion. Metals are heavy, but they're also cheap as well. So we can just have a one thing that's full of metals. Let's do this. Space Walrus, just send us 80 metal. Because we need to get this uh, dome over here built. Tarai says, it came to a point in my last game where I only built the big apartment buildings. My population exploded. Mostly due to some combination of techs I researched. Yeah, Ricky guesses. Um, yeah, my population hasn't grown very much in this in this game. I do have the... I do have a school and all this stuff to over here. 
but I, I am planning to just destroy both of these domes because the metal that was here is gone. So there's no point in having these domes here. And I want to move all the people from here up to... up to these domes here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to extract all this concrete to put in the medium dome here. And we'll also have this new dome over here for this uh, metal. But... Um, Oh, Space Shark's already ready to go. Oh, it is, oh it's still offloading food, though. <clears throat> yep, we're fueling quite fast, I'm noticing. Okay, I don't understand... Why are these guys still here? They should be leaving. Get out of my... Get out of my colony. Oh, you're okay. Tarias says he's at soul 200. Yeah, I'm only at 76 here. So, I'm actually, I'm actually impressed that you got to 200. I don't think I have a feeling my colony won't survive even up to that point unless I start expanding up here or try to get some underground technologies or under like deep underground metals or something. Um, I actually have not. Because of my technology mix, mix, I haven't actually seen any technologies that allow me to even look or extract that sort of stuff. I think they're kind of back here somewhere. Hmm. Rare metals extractor production increased by 50%. Ecology, electro okay, electronics factory I probably want to get. Uh... Let's get this thing because I'm. I want to. I'm no because not not enough of, of our people are actually going. I've, I've turned down the priority on those extractors. I think this will be useful. And then so that'll at least get them to keep on producing. <sighs> what else can we get here? Medical center. You know, all these technologies aren't really. Colonists without the proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that one. From what I see in your research, I must have gotten a lucky combination of tech. Yeah, it's all it's all random. I I the one lucky thing I did get in this in this uh, colony is this first breakthrough. This, this one says drone hubs no longer require power or maintenance. This is the thing that killed me in the first colony because I built two... I, my mistake, I did build too many drone hubs, I think. But I also didn't have enough electronics to maintain them, so they all just sort of broke down. But because I have this thing, and because I'm also building less drone hubs in general, I don't have to worry about that. So... Yeah, no, this is still an easy start. Um... I think my difficulty... What's my difficulty at? I think it's... Yeah. My difficulty is at 70%. Maybe maybe yours might be a little lower because I know that the different uh, storyline, the mystery parts, have different difficulties. So... Still curious of how difficult this War on Earth thing is. Space Shark. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. Oh, oh I better scan some more sectors. Okay, so there's a bunch of crap up here. I'm gonna just start scanning these sectors here just to see see what's in between here. And then maybe we can start building a tunnel up there. Okay, I don't know why these guys are not getting up here. If you I have 34 Earth sick colonists and are not leaving. Can I like tell them to leave or something? Yeah, I don't see anything in here that tells that like in because usually when I when I land land a rocket, these colonists will leave randomly. I have not seen anything that gets in the leaves. I'm, I'm just going to launch these two. And I'm going to land the metal rocket. Um, probably 
nearby here, maybe. So we can get this dome up and running. Mm, let's put it right here. So these two are going to go. This water tower needs. I see. So there's the metal. There they go. Okay, so we should see this dome get constructed very soon. And I'll start build, putting in my support buildings in there. And residences. Building's not working. Oh, what's going on here? Why are people not working in this building? Because I destroyed... I mean, I have this... I don't feel like I should build anything here because, again, I'm, I'm going to demolish that dome eventually. I, I wonder if people actually are moving out of that dome. Okay, here. Oh, I should uh, give a name for this one. Not sure what I should call it. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. What should we name this one? Du Dukamun? It's a weird name. Uh, what's a good name? Uh, the the events the the Warren the Warren Earth thing. It said the events happened in Southeast Asia. So maybe we should do something that's in um, in on in in memory of those people that I don't know where exactly in Southeast Asia it happened though. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna I'm going to guess and maybe it was in Kuala Lumpur, which is a I think it's an Indonesian city. I'll just do that. Okay. I'm going to go with the apartments and start with that one there. Let's get all of our usual things that we need for maintaining a good lifestyle here. I might actually not do a research lab because I think we're pretty good in the research department. We will put an infirmary in here. And let's see. I like the open air gym because it doesn't require people to maintain. Um, it does take up a lot of space though. Mm, let's see, let's do an open air gym, why not? Let's put that guy on this side. And then we will want to build a machine parts factory, which I think we do have unlocked now. Oh, we don't. Oh. I think we are researching it, though. Where is machine? Yeah, we are going to... We're about to research that next. So... Tarias says, What gives you the most challenge in your run so far? Um... Probably right now, I think. Because... I think I'm getting kind of challenged right now. Because uh, because of the way I've, I've split up split up my colony because we started down here. Oh geez, there's a lot of things that are. Uh, these things all need metal. Ooh, it's not good. Because of this because of this split, I I, I want to try to get to a point where at least one of these colonies or one of these clusters is fully independent, and I think this this one down here has the best chance, but I've. I've had all these earth sick colonists here, so I, I guess the earth sick colonists have been the biggest challenge because I, I was, I was making the mistake of focusing on just producing as much metal and rare metal as possible. I, I, I put this at priority three, but because of that, it, all of these other buildings got neglected, and my, uh, I got off a whole bunch of colonists in here that are not working and not, they're just sitting there. I'm not sure what to do about them. So I'm not- I'm gonna try not to make that mistake again. Uh, okay, so. So one apartment building. I want to put the machine parts factory there. Mm, Russian University, school, playground, nursery. 
Not sure if that's really needed. Hmm. Could build an art workshop, maybe. But there's no... No, let's build a... Hmm. Actually, since this, this colony is kind of far away, I will put a hydroponic farm, maybe, here. Or maybe... I do have other... I have a fungal farm now. Could use that. Actually, what's the production like for these things? The hydroponic farm makes... Oh, based on crop. Based on crop. Interesting. Fungal farm. Oh, interesting. The regular farm requires no maintenance. That's actually really good. Hmm. So that is a really good advantage. I don't have to spend metal to maintain that. I could build a farm here. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else, because I have a gym, but I don't think a gym itself will be good enough for helping the comfort of my colony here. Uh, or maybe it will, because actually if we, if we compare this dome to so Kuala Lumpur with this other Secunda stone, we have a gym, we have growth, actually it's about the same. We have a security station, which I haven't built in this dome, I should probably build one. So let's build a security station. And I will also build a little... Let's build a small alleyway there. I'll just get this uh, up and running, and then hopefully... Actually, I'll send another passenger rocket. Um, I will... Let's prioritize this apartment building, though. So, passenger rocket... Yep, got a... Space Dolphin here. Officers, scientists, geologists. Actually, this one's going to be mainly mining metal. So geologists would be something we'll need. Medic. So four geologists, maybe a botanist. Uh, and a bunch of no specialization people. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. So launch Space Dolphin. So, yeah, I'm going to prioritize this thing, this apartment block. Um, sector scanned. Sector scanned. Oh, nothing there. Okay. We are low on machine parts. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, we need to get this... Um, actually, this, this technology we're researching now will definitely help comfort levels in general. So, I'm hoping that'll help at least any new colonists that come in from becoming Earthsick. I'm not also not sure if some colonists, because I noticed this number of colonists has gone down a little bit. Or, or either that or people have, have, uh, have died. It's also very possible. Therese says, oh, by the way, how did you resolve the Dredger's mission? Uh, no, uh, the first colony, I, I, I never got, got a chance to resolve it because my colony died before I could uh, get to that point. Uh, like, as I said, um, this tech, in the first colony, because I had so many drone hubs, they all required electronics for maintenance. And because I did not have this breakthrough technology, um, I just did not have enough, I just could not keep up. I did not have enough electronics to maintain the colony and just basically, basically all the all the drone hubs collapsed, all they, all they all broke down, and then essentially the rest of the colony collapsed, so. I kinda, I, I kinda treated the first colony as sort of a learning, learning colony, like just. The day claimed oh, oh. our last living founder, spelling the end of an era for us all. Yeah. Oh, you know, feel free to talk about Terrace, it's just, that's it never oh I, oh I see you're not gonna spoil what happened with dredgers yeah please don't but, but hopefully maybe i'll play i'll play again and maybe i'll get that same storyline again because I'm, I'm very curious uh, what happened there 
I'm not going to read all this because I think I've already seen this, but yeah, there are no more founders left. At least he died of old age. I mean, he, he got all the way, he lived all the way up to Soul 78, which is pretty good. Okay, we still need polymers. There are no polymers down here. Or oh, they're, they're producing the polymers as fast as they can. See the shuttles are all six of them are in use. That's good. I think people are actually moving away from this dome because as soon as the factory and the metal extractor got destroyed, I can see that some of these buildings are not not being staffed for some reason. Okay, there's our apartment building. The space dolphin's about to arrive. I'm just saving it another passenger rocket. No, nope, nine out of 23. So maybe not. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Mm. Okay, Let's, I'm just gonna see here. So this would have eight workers there. And that one has two, so ten. A couple medics there. Okay. I'm also kind of wondering if I ever, if I actually need this security station because it's, it, and it's only really needed if, uh, at least to prevent any crime once people become renegades, which I have, don't don't have that many, I think. Yeah, I don't have any renegades right now. Oh, actually, I just have a bunch of Earthsick colonists. Okay, yeah, this number is go still going down, so I actually wonder... The act some of these Earthsick colonists are actually changing their tune. Now that I've actually... I'm actually providing the services they need. Okay, let's bring in... I have to put this in a weird spot. <clears throat> Going to get that metal extraction going. Research complete. Okay. The ripples oh. made by the attacks on Earth have toppled governments and paved the way for opportunists to ride a wave of populist fury. Border skirmishes are slowly spilling into full-scale invasions, and the major powers are so far failing to instate a ceasefire. The relative peace Earth has been enjoying for the past century now seems to have been a fragile facade beneath which grudges and ambitions have been festering and wait for the right moment. The organization responsible for has all but vanished after accomplishing more than it could have possibly hoped for. We on the other hand, as a symbol of what humanity can achieve when working together and not by fighting between ourselves, are in a unique position to make a statement which may be of actual merit to the situation. Hmm. Only united can we hope to conquer the void. Constrain war tension increased to 5%. Earth won't change. This will increase it by 10%, but I'll get 50 new applicants, which I kind of need right now. Ugh, it's tempting. I kind of I kind of want more people. Hmm. Screw it. We're gonna go with this. I hope this is not a mistake, though. I'll, Cause I am. Oh, it's at twenty-four percent. Okay. Cause I I want to try to get people out of here. There we go. Fifty-eight out of seventy-five. All right. Let's get two scientists here. Uh, geologist. Two medics. So lots of people now. A couple botanists, maybe. Engineers, and no specialization. So, Space Shark launch. I'm just gonna just get as many people here as possible. So, no specialization, officer. 
Well, let's get a couple more scientists. Medic, geologist, officer, geologist, engineer, and there we go, space shark. This is the, I think this will pre pretty much give us, I don't know, we have probably two more rockets worth, actually probably almost three, wor three worth. Scientists, no specialization people. Most of these are no specialization people. Grab a botanist here, here and there. Fred, Fred says, oh no, Frumple, don't wipe out the earth. I, I need people though. Mars needs people. And I, I couldn't, I was thinking about just saying just 5%, but I couldn't say no to just getting 50 more colonists because the number of applicants wasn't, we were, you, you saw before that we just didn't have enough applicants. Okay, uh, let's do one more here. So two botanists, two scientists. We're we're wel we're ba think of it this way: we're welcoming refugees from Earth. We're welcoming them with open arms to this new planet, where they might not be very comfortable, but at least it's better, better better than being in a war war zone. Okay, so so essentially. Four rock or three rockets. New colonists have arrived. Let's see. Oh, I have no more rockets. I have to send some of them back. But yeah, three passenger rockets are on on their way here. I should uh, maybe start building a second apartment building here. Uh, where is it here? Apartment building. And yeah, maybe another. Another facility for leisure. Let's see, diner. Hmm. I'm also wondering if I should build another polymer factory. Because we have this one way over here. And this one's at, okay, this colony is actually all full. This one's... Uh-oh. Shit. This might have been a mistake, because... Uh-oh. I mean, I can get 24 more people here. That's two rockets worth, so I can land two more pasture rockets. But we, I just noticed that we don't have actually enough space here. Hmm... Uh... We do have the, yeah, I do have the shuttle hub. It is, it is over here. So that's that is good. I think people are actually moving out of this dome, because of because as, as, after the uh, machine parts factory got destroyed. Um, mm, this is not good. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Um. At the very least, I could put some, I could put some overflow into this dome, because there is there is space over here at the very least, so that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna prioritize this apartment complex, and then we're gonna put in let's put a space bar in here. Why not? And then this part will be our our machine parts factory. Okay, machine parts and metals. Yeah, we don't have any metals. I don't know if... Yep, they're starting to work in this thing. We also have this other metal, ex metal extractor. I think there... Yeah, there's plenty of metals in both of these, so that we should be fine with metals for quite a while. Just It's just that we're not producing them fast enough. It does look like, it does look like the number of Earth sick colonists is decreasing. So with that we can actually get back and back get back get our colony back into a productive state. Okay, next, yeah, we are also we gotta wait for this to research so we can build our own machine parts factory.
and then oh stored okay we need also more concrete storage so i'm gonna get that going here a lot of these extractors aren't running because of the lack of storage let's put in another two there actually you know what i'm gonna put in several more space walrus oh actually don't sell your actually no that's fine sell yeah, I'll get Space Walrus to um, load up on some Sector rare metal there. Found. I think the shuttles are actually bringing stuff directly to this uh, storage place. Yeah, I'll wait for Space Walrus to load up fully on rare metal. Then we'll come the pasture rockets. This thing's not done yet. Oh, there. Oh, might be done just in time. The rock, the... All the people are about to arrive. Come on, drones. Gotta, gotta fish that thing. Faster, faster. There we go. <clears throat> so we are definitely dumping... Actually, we could dump all three rockets here because we do have... Enough space in this colony here. Okay, I need to find a good spaces for these rockets. I'm actually going to put one right over here. And one... Uh, where is this going to go? Right next to there. The question is, should I build... 44 out of 48, 47... So these two domes are full. That's okay. This one's 40 out of 56... What's a comfort level here? 53. Because there's no shopping. Let's see. So comfort level is low in that, in that dome. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna land all three here because there, we do have space in this in this dome here. So let's put it on way over here. And we'll just fill this dome all the way to 48 colonists. We're just gonna put them all here. And we also have to give them... New colonists Unfortunately, a lot of them are gonna be unemployed, so I have to figure out what to do about that. I might have to... You know what? I'm gonna build a polymer factory just to... See this? Yeah, the, the jobs are there. There's 21 unemployed. Hmm. How many people work at the... Yeah, I think... Even with both shifts, I don't think it's going to be enough... Just the machine parts factory isn't going to have enough people. I do want to have more jobs than people, in general. So I will build a polymer factory here, just to give them some some work. And we'll put this guy... I'm gonna put this thing... Yeah, let's put it right here. Try to build that. Tarius says, It is so fun to me how different we build our colonies. Uh, how so, Tarius? Like... Like any specific things of how we build it differently? Like... The way I build my colony is, well, at least in this first part, I, I went a little overboard with all this redundancy. So you can see there's a lot of moxies and towers here, but I think I'm going to destroy all of this at some point. I'll get a lot of resources from it, but I want, I definitely, these domes don't really, I mean, people are happy here, but they're not, there's no reason to have them here anymore. Um, and also... They're not going to get any sort of uh, any of the advanced goods like because there's no electronics factory down there The only ones over here because it's near the rare metals Space walrus is going Space dolphin just needs to unload more food I think we need more drones in this in this hub. I think yeah, that one, oh, I see Ugh. 
Okay. I'm going to assign a few drones off to these. Oops. I wish I could... I wish there was an easier way of doing this part, though. It's quite annoying. So I'm just going to select a few random drones. Because you can see there's an imbalance here. There's 27 on this one, or 24 now. And there's only six on these ones, or not, or seven now. I wish the drones could like distribute themselves automatically, or maybe, I, maybe there was like a button I could push that would automatically distribute them. So now both of them have nine. Let's go for. Maybe 10. So now this should have 19. Uh, okay, maybe a bit more. So 11. And I'll go for another one here. 12. Okay, so now this one has 15, and that one has 12 and 12. Okay, spacebar. The comfort level in this, this dome is like... Dining, gaming, and luxury. Hmm. So that's not great. Exercise and social. Relaxation, drinking, social. I'm actually thinking whether I should... Maybe instead of the space bar. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the space bar. We're gonna replace it with maybe a diner and, uh, and something else. Let's get rid of that. Crop failure reported. Crop failure. So, yeah, I'm going to replace this with something else. We're going to go with three small buildings instead. I'm going to build a diner. And an art workshop. And you know what? Let's build a, re let's build a research facility since we have so many people here anyway. Let's build it right there. And I'll put in also a little... Let's do a small fountain. Go and build that. Check our power situation. Looking pretty good. Oxygen. Yeah, well, oxygen's doing pretty good too. This thing prioritize. Oh, we need machine parts. Of which we have none. Okay. We need a cargo rocket. We don't have any rockets. Okay. Gotta launch these things. Okay, launching Space Walrus. Launching... Oh, Space Dolphin hasn't fully unloaded yet. Yeah, we need machine parts. Actually, these things are gonna start breaking down if I... I'm not careful here. Trias says, I build very specialized domes and try to minimize ca cabling stuff and all that. Research complete. Yeah. I think in this mission, I, I, yeah, I definitely went a bit overboard with this cabling. The main reason I did this is because in the last mission, we had a whole bunch of, we had a, I think we went through at least two meteor storms. And having any breaks in this caused a lot of issues. But I, this, this mission, I haven't actually had any, any um, disasters, so maybe this was a bit too much. Um... I also try to spread out all my, not, not just in cabling, but spread out my power production. So you can see there's a, when I used to build some concrete extractors over here, I had a, I just sp build little, little mini power station uh, things here. So it's like one panel, one solar panel, one accumulator, and a sterling over here. Space dolphin, oh, not quite ready yet. Yeah, just enough power and water air to get by. That's probably smart because then you're not wasting, you know, metal and all that. But I guess it depends, right? Like, it's nice to have a backup somewhere at least. 
or at least have a maybe an oxygen tank just in case just so that's enough time for the drones to repair it so this is a completely full well, actually it's not completely full I think maybe some of the colonists moved to a different yeah some of them actually moved to these these other domes I think this one's fueled up but still has a bunch of food I'm gonna actually put a food dumping site here just in case that it's an issue I guess, yeah, I have to agree with you, Tarias, though, like, this game does allow for different ways of playing the game, and it usually, and one will be better for different circumstances. Um, at the very least, uh, I don't think there is a right way of playing this game. Um, which kind of no which kind of contrasts from with, with, like, Oxygen Not Included, because when I kept playing that game, I always got people in chat saying, you're not, you're doing it wrong, they're, they're like, Sector scan. They're like saying there is only one run one right way of playing the game. And I was like, let me just play it, dude. Like don't <laughs> Don't boss me around like that. Okay, space dolphins going. Space shark. Nope, still uh, floating food. Funding received. The map I only had only meteors, so I didn't have to worry about a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah, even I, I haven't seen any loose meteors yet. I, I saw a lot of them in early game, but at least in this map, but I haven't seen very much going on there. Okay, good. So our metal extractor is going. How's our research doing? Okay, we're almost done. Oh wait, oh did we finish this already? Where is where is that thing? Did I just finish it already? Hold on. I might have missed it. Yeah, I missed it. Whoops. Let's get this machine parts factory up and running. This needs to be, oh. Do we have electronics for this? Yes. So I might have to ship, Research complete. either ship the electronics up here or wait for this thing to produce it, which it probably will. Okay, so. You know what, just in case, I'm, I am going to bring up some electronics from down there. Because I do have a, f a some of it down here. Where's my transport? There it is. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to grab a little bit of electronics here. Just a little bit. So we can use that to construct our factory. There might already be enough electronics here. So, oh, it's, oh, it already has enough electronics. Okay. So, yeah, it's already there. I'm going to set up two work shifts there. Yeah, nope, space shark's ready to go. Good. All right, so our machine parts should be reaccumulating soon, and then we can. Well, hopefully this will. These extractors will be done. I think I need more. I still need more places to dump our waste rock. I'll keep building more here. More dumping sites, I guess. Okay. You can see some of the uh, turbines here are broken because of our lack of machine parts, but hopefully this thing will start producing them soon. Oh, Tarai says, plus I had early f early fission or fusion. Yeah, the, the fusion reactors. And breakthrough that makes it so they don't need people to work in them. Oh, that's very useful. 
Ooh, I like that. So I didn't need to worry about power. That is very lucky. I mean, in some ways, based on our building styles, I guess, I consider myself really lucky for getting this thing, too. I do have nuclear fusion ready to get, be researched. I should probably consider getting it. Because... Actually, I'm curious, Terrize, do you know what the maintenance cost for... Like, I'll need people, of course, for this. But do you know what good what a resource it uses for maintenance because I'm I could keep on building more wind turbines but that that, re that thing requires lots of machine parts I'm not sure if that's a good idea farms increase the comfort of all residents in the dome interesting unlock new crops and farms oh, I see okay yeah I'm, I'm tempted to get nuclear fusion right now it's kind of it's kind of a big technology though it's going to take a while to get that three electronics Ugh. Hmm. not sure if i feel comfortable with that because electronics is so hard to get by to come by um hmm drone battery capacity drone prefabs lowers risk of Okay, let's get that one next, and then... Hmm, meter defense system. A lot of these are 7,000 research points, which is a little ridiculous. New Spire Building. Medical Center. Sectors can now be de scanned again for deep deposits. Exploiting these deposits require additional technologies. I guess I should get that, just to... I had to rescan them though, that's kind of irritating. Okay, let's let's get fusion. Oh, but they produce 300 power. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better than my uh Yeah, yeah, that, that, that actually is a really good deal compared to you know, zero half half a machine part for just well, at least up here 10 10 uh, 10 power. So Let's, I'm, I'm just gonna research it just to see how see if it's even doable. War tensions at 28 percent. Hmm. Wonder if that getting all those people was worth it. Uh, hope I don't know when these are gonna get. I'm actually going to prioritize these to full because I want to again I want to make space. Get these out of the way and then put my medium dome there. Our sponsor has informed us that it's now playing a major role in peacekeeping efforts. They are also providing humanitarian aid to vast territories that are affected by the crisis. Okay. Millions have been displaced and food is of severe shortage. Oh, we have lots of food here. I can send food back if you want. <laughs> we have been given a heads up that resource supply from Earth will soon become unavailable for an un unspecified amount of time. Now all eyes are on Earth are now all eyes on Earth are on international on the international Mars mission and there are those who will benefit greatly by branding them hypocritical in their commitment and intentions hampering all progress towards peace. Resupply with resources from Earth will be unavailable for after 5 souls. Oh, take care to order any needed resources soon. Ah oh, shit. Okay. I should have kind of expected this. Okay, so if we need to order anything now, we better do it now. What do we lack? I'm not sure if that includes passenger rockets too. So I might, might decide to launch that as well. Mm, metals could be needed. Machine parts we could get. It's maybe just an infusion of machine parts. Uh, let's see, machine parts. Actually, let's let's bring metals first, because just do a full load of that, and then space lobster ready to go. Launch that. Try to get these rockets out of here. Yep, space whale. Though I'm not sure if these rockets will get back in time. 
No, oh, yeah, Tarias has just confirmed. Yep, yeah, it is 300 power for just three electronics. So that's not a bad deal. That's actually not too bad. I might consider getting that, or at least Sectors replacing all these the solar control. panels down here. If I, actually, if I... Okay, I'll just get metal out of these, but... I can salvage all this stuff down here. Select a sector to scan. Okay. Uh, where? I don't know. Where can we scan? Mm, concrete metals. Okay. Might as well just scan the rest of that stuff here. Buildings of depleted plaza. Okay, so this guy is out of concrete, so we can destroy this one now. That one. Check the comfort levels. Okay, yeah, comfort's a little better now in this building, now that we've put in some extra shifts for that research lab. And we got people working in the machine parts factory now. Resources are low. I think I have another rocket available. Actually two rockets. Let's get machine parts. Actually, hold on. How many... Got some electronics. Just in case, I will also bring some electronics on this one. So a large infusion of machine parts and a little bit of electronics. Mm, maybe that's too much, too much electronics. 110, 60... This is pretty much all our money though. Maybe that's too many electronics machine parts. Let's go 80, 40. If I don't have the breakthrough, it will take a lot of people to work that building. Okay. I'll probably build it next time, next to my medium dome once I get that up and running. I think I'll fill the rest with metals. That shit looks pretty good. That's a lot of, that's pretty much all my money there. I'll add a couple drones as well. Let's launch that. Uh, can I bring in any more people? Probably not. Probably not a good idea either because we don't have enough capacity anyway. So, just have to wait for these three extractors to be done. We have a whole lot of concrete. Like all the concrete we, ever, we could ever need. Resources are low. And you know what? I think... Since I have another cargo rocket here, I think I will see if we can get some more metal in here. 75. Oh yeah, it's just just out of our range there. That's mm, okay. Let's just launch with this one. Might as well just spend all my money. Why not? Okay. So we're going to wait for this. I think what I'm going to do is I'll keep playing until, well, at least I want to take a break sometime, but I think we'll wait until all three of these extractors are done and then I'll take a break. And then after the break, we'll build, at least get started on building the medium dome. And uh, we'll go from there. So, so we're just going to wait a bit. It might take a while. I'm not sure. We might actually get to Soul 100 before that all happens. Are these metal extractors working? Research oh, jeez. Oh, this thing needs... Oh, that's why we don't have metals. This thing's not even running. Uh... Tensions are rising at a rate faster than even the most pessimistic predictions. The UN has adopted the doomsday clock that the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists has used since the end of World War II to highlight how close humanity is to self-extinction. It is now set to two minutes to midnight, a, le a level at which it hasn't been at since the early 21st century. Oh yeah. I'm familiar with this uh, doomsday clock. I think they tried setting it to like one minute and a half to midnight. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sounds like the situation is not doing very well over there. But I'm, I'm kind of busy over here trying to fix this. 
Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna send this fully, all this metal down here because I don't think there's enough. I'm gonna send one shipment down there because we're not. And then yeah, we need. To, I'm gonna get the machine part, the one that's containing the machine parts. I think it's the uh, yeah space shark. I'll get space shark to land over here because it has machine parts and electronics. And there's another metal rocket coming, and I'll, I'll probably land this one up here, I think. Yeah, a lot of our... oof, yeah, a lot of our turbines are not... not running very well. <clears throat> oh, even this thing just shut down because it doesn't have enough machine parts. Oh, dear. Hmm, yep, yeah. a lot of things here are not are starting starting to break down. Okay, space shark. Gonna go fix this issue. We're I think we've solved the Earth sick problem though. We're down to 13. So that's good. Alright. So hopefully we'll start seeing these things get repaired. And also land this guy. Shift there for the polymer factory. Tarai says, without imports from Earth, my colony wouldn't have made it to turn 100. I had to import electronics for a long time. Yeah, that gets it very expensive. Um, I'm trying to. Fortunately for me, with this all this stuff up here, I'm. With both metals and rare metals, I think I can stay self-sufficient for at least a time. But again, this stuff's going to run out pretty soon, or at least eventually. Well, not soon, but eventually. You can see it's down to like... You're taking a little chunk out of the resources there. Space Walrus... Yeah, I'll get this guy to uh, load up on rare metals. And uh, we'll sell that on the market. Oh, shit, we need machine parts down here. Oh, crap, our water production's going down. Uh, yeah, let's fix that. Uh, oh, damn it, that's not good. Because there's no metals down here, there's no way of maintaining these extractors. So I can't... I have to ship machine parts... Yeah, okay. Just need a little bit of machine parts, though. So I'm going to take my transport, and I'm going to load up on some of these machine parts. Let's grab a few from that rocket. Fred says, I believe the clock is currently set to two minutes to midnight. I did see them... Yeah, currently it's set to that, but I think they... It was a couple of years ago, I think they tried setting it to one and a half minutes to midnight to indicate I don't know what I don't know what the events were happening. I think it was the bombings in Europe. Um maybe the tensions between North Korea. Actually North Korea was probably a big big part of it. And also Russian interference. All that sort of stuff. There's our transport there. Okay, so there's forty three point five machine parts. I think I'll I'll offload a little bit of it. I don't need too many. Let's go with 24.5 and we'll take the tunnel down. Oh, this thing's dead. We can destroy that thing. And then I can just I can just run this thing all the way down here. And offload the machine parts here. Make sure our Extractors, or co or concrete extractors are actually, ah, hmm. I didn't realize they also use machine parts. So maybe having so many concrete extractors was not a good choice here. Oh well. We do need more dumping sites. So let's go fix that problem.
I'm just gonna build a whole bunch here. Alright. Space Walrus, oh, ready to go. Let's launch him. Trias says, I see Professor Krauss tweeting about that when he goes to the conference when they determine the Doomsday Clock. But I try not to dwell on that too much. Yeah. There's some people that say that the, the Doomsday Clock is kind of irrelevant, or people people don't pay attention to it because because of the way they measure things. It, it's kind of it's kind of an arbitrary thing. Because like when they moved it from two minutes to one minute and a half, they were like, people were saying, like, what does that mean? Like, why is it not one minute? What what does what does a what does a half minute mean? Um So yeah, people will We'll ask questions about that. Insufficient fuel for that thing. Is it because I, this thing's too far away, maybe? Actually, is this hub too far? Oh, I see. Okay. This hub over here. Okay. So I think... What I need to do here is move this refinery over because it's this one is in range of this polymer factory down here, but it, it is not in range uh, with of the, with this one over here. I'm not even sure if we need the polymer factory now because we actually have a whole bunch of vacancies that we can use for something else. I think, yeah. So I'm actually considering maybe I should just destroy maybe I should just blow up this factory. Because polymers polymers are doing okay. You know what? Let's let's blow up this polymer factory. Or mm, yeah, no, that's fine. Too late now. I was I was thinking maybe just turning it off, but all those workers from there should now go off to the machine parts factory and the extractor, I hope. Or to other things. Okay, this thing's dead, so we can destroy that extractor. We definitely have all the concrete we could ever need, at least for a while. Okay. Then, got that fuel refiner there. I think this one's... Oh, this one's still running. Actually, what's our fuel production like? Uh, oh yeah, a lot of it's being used to refuel rockets at the moment. Hmm. More tension at 32%. Not great. So, yeah, this event started quite late, because I remember... The dredgers arrived around like Sol 50 or something like that, or earlier than that. But the war started at Sol 73 in this game. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's also determined at random by the game. I mean you could I wonder if you could play it where the um, the war starts maybe maybe right away or closer to an earlier earlier date. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. So some water up there. Hmm. Funding received. Okay, there's a little bit of funding there. I guess we could ship another one last cargo run, maybe. Since since we have this window here, uh, more metals would be not bad, or more, more machine parts even. Um, I don't think I'm loading up any other rocket, though. Let's see, machine parts. 40 machine parts. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's launch. Let's launch with this one. Because that's... That should balance out what we have here, because we have actually 
40 less machine parts compared to the other resources we have. Are you sure, Therese? I'm pretty sure that it happened earlier, or at least it started happening earlier. Because... Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fairly certain it happened at least earlier than Soul. It definitely happened earlier than Soul 100. At least it started, at least the the very first events that happened, like, I think it also included that meteor storm that was supposed to happen. So, like, in the, if I recall correctly, the, the scientists thought that the meteor storm was going to be huge, but it actually turned out to, to be a bunch of dredgers coming in. And then, I think that's still part of the story. And then the actual dredgers came in probably near, closer to 100, but there were definitely events that happened before that, before that all took pl place. Let's launch Space Dolphin, get that out of here. Uh, how much how much rare metals do we have? Yeah, I think we can afford uh, exporting that. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is the in terms of the storyline for the Dredger storyline, the first part of it is has nothing to has. You don't you don't he see the dredgers at all. They you, they're not they haven't landed yet. But there's there are, there's stuff there are some events that do happen back then that lead up to the dredgers actually landing. So I mean I could just go watch the YouTube vod and look myself. I'm, I'm I might be misremembering it. What are we researching right now? Uh, what's this thing? Triboelectric scrubber. Emits pulses which reduce the dust accumulation. Whoa. That's useful. Okay. Science institutes and the network node upgrade. And the network node upgrade increases the oh, research amplification. Okay. Mm, emergency training. Martian Sci Institute of Science. Generates f research faster than a research lab. Okay. Mm, passengers carry 10 more colonists. That might be useful. Again, I'm trying... Oh, and then of course there's the electronics factor there. I think we'll get that one next. That seems useful. So at the very least, we can build our own stuff. Rare metal extractor production increased by 50%. I do also want to... Actually, you know what? Let's, we have a prefab of this, so we don't need that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to get as many um, cheap technologies, because we're trying to get the as many technologies as possible before Soul 100. So I'll go for these two here. Those cost only 3,000. This one also costs 3,000 as well. And some of these also down here. Oh, we haven't got the patents yet. Trias says, I started as Europe, so my first... Supply embargo oh. is now in effect. Oh, there we go. I started my as Europe, so my first mission was researching 40 tech until Soul 100. Yeah, that, I have the same thing. Um, I didn't... This is, an, this is, again, this is an easy start mission, so I'm doing the International Mars Mission faction. If I, if, if I get a chance to play this again, I probably will choose something a bit more, definitely more challenging. Probably at least 100% difficulty. Okay, so yeah, resupply is cut off. Cannot get any more resources. This is the last, or at least some, the, the space whale coming in is the last shipment coming in. Space Shark is loading up on exports. Yeah, we better get up there, because... Uh, we can probably get to that metal resource right there first. But rare metals are also a priority, so we might want to try going maybe up to this one or up to there. Or we can get the underground... We can research the underground technology and start um, searching for deep underground resources. 
Okay, so 40 machine parts. I'm going to bring this one... Uh, actually, let's bring this one down here because I'm not going to... There's no... I have to keep transporting the machine parts all the way down here. Actually, you know what? Put it right here. I'm landing a rocket. There yet. Okay, space shark. Goodbye. Don't know how long these are still gonna accumulate concrete. I might have. I don't know if I need another. Get another concrete depot here. Mm. Put a couple here, maybe. Okay, man, yeah, but you can see my turbines are back up and running. Power is not doing too bad. Everything looks like it's in surplus. What are we researching? Yeah, fusion. So next is the deep scanning, and then we'll get to fusion, and we'll research this other stuff here. So I'm pretty much just going to wait until these extractors just um, finish what they're doing. I can't, I can't tell how much concrete's left there. I could even amplify them if I really wanted to, just to get them... Actually, I could, just to get them done faster, but I, I, I would be wasting two polymer, which I'm not so keen on. Sector scanned. I should also check how much water I have left in these. Okay, so that one's about half done. Time flies. The day of the final mission evaluation is drawing near. It's probably a good time to look at the colony statistics and address any goals and issues that we have yeah. so far. So, yeah, no, we, we've already completed this goal. We have 44 out of 40. I'm going to keep on researching technologies and try to get the those done but yeah we've we've completed this objective i don't remember if you get a benefit or a reward from completing the objective because i could use some more money or some more funding maybe I, but i'm pretty sure you don't get anything from it it's kind of sad okay so yeah both of these and yeah, this one's not quite as half full but there's there's a lot of water here i think we're, we should be fine for Definitely quite a while. That one's been extracted a bit too. Okay. Nope, one of them depleted. Oh, this? Oh, that guy got it. Alright, so we'll close this one down. I don't think there's any need for another concrete extractor down here because. We're not going to be building anything new down here. Research complete. It's mostly going to be used for maintenance of maybe the apartment buildings. So this will probably be the last, be the last concrete extractor we'll build for a while in this crater. Funding received. Okay, receive some funding. Still waiting on this thing to get done. You know what? I, I am going to amplify these just to... I, I, I want to get this stuff done. Might be a waste of time, but... Oh, all extractors contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Uh, okay. I see. Maybe, this, maybe building it like this is a bad idea. Huh. Okay, that's good to know. So maybe next time I won't build these other buildings so close, like the dome, for example, or these other power buildings. Fuel refinery, okay, that's good. I guess just clicking a bunch of different things. Next is deep scanning. How much research are we doing? Oh, lots of, a lot of our research labs are doing a lot there. I could start building the tunnel up there just to at least get the explorer up there and like, getting all these 
anomalies. There's a ton up there. Okay, let's see if we can do that. If I build a tunnel, maybe build it right. Hmm. That's a good spot. Maybe right here. The back here. Oh, too far from working drone commander. Uh, so the range of this thing would go up to there. So let's build it right here. I can. Maybe not. There's actually no... You can't really build in that space, can you? Mm. Okay, that makes it difficult. Can I build it closer, like right... There we go. Okay, let's build it right here, between these two hubs. Oh shit, I have to build the other side. So build this first, and then the other side's gonna be... Oh, I don't know. Probably just above it. Mm, there's a good spot here. Mm, okay, all of this terrain's apparently uneven. So I have to build it... There, I guess. Sure. Again, I'm just I'm just building this for now. I don't have to connect any pipes or build a drone hub up here. I just want to have a tunnel so I can use my explorer to get up onto that ridge. So we'll get that constructed. You can see the drones are yep, they're all all swarming that thing now. We should have enough machine parts to build it, I think, in this area anyway. Uh, Space Whale is... what's this guy? Oh yeah, this is the... Yeah, this, this is the one that delivered machine parts. I'm gonna just launch that one out. Cool. Average morale. I'm gonna check out the comfort levels here. So this one... Yeah, people are pretty comfortable in this one. Morale is pretty. These these ones down here, though. Yeah, foundation is doing really well. I think it's mainly because of all these uh, child rearing buildings. This one, Secundus, is not doing great. I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with that. Yeah, once the medium dome comes up here, I'm going to probably destroy Secundus first and get all 23 of these colonists to move up there. They'll probably use the shuttles to get up there. So. All right. Are these done yet? These are amplified now. I'm gonna request maintenance on this thing because I think that one's about to break down. Sector scanned. Yeah, Torres, I have, uh, I have, I have seen not not, not just the rover AI, but the, uh, well, actually the the transport. I was trying to build a transport route uh, from this area, from the crater area, with this tunnel here, and then up to here. It, it, but what happened was the rover would actually ignore the tunnel and actually end up like. On the edge here, or it'll try to. It would try to basically try to go with by foot, like without the tunnel. Um, so there's definitely some issues with the rover AI. You have to kind of explicitly click the tunnel in order to get it actually in the tunnel. Actually, is that tunnel getting? Is that tunnel almost done? Where's where's this one? Oh, it's already done. Okay, let's bring Explorer down there. I'm gonna. Like that tunnel. Yeah, hopefully they'll fix it in a future patch. You can see right here the my rover can't go through this area because of the way my storage. Yeah, I think one one thing that can help is to try to make sure to have enough clearance space in front of the tunnel entrance. You can see my rover had to go all the way around that tunnel. Okay, let's go up up here. There we go. 
and we can start researching. I'll have to come back down and... Actually, it might be easier if I start connecting power up to here. So my rover doesn't have to go keep on coming down into the valley. So let's do that. I'm going to... How best to connect this? Like, mm, It's not great. Let's connect it like this. Because I want to also connect pipes as well to this. I'm going to do... Actually, that, that, that works out pretty well. So at least connect power up there, and then hopefully I can get the rover to charge just from being in front of this tunnel. More tension is at 36%. This thing's finished, done. Okay, so now we can salvage it. The only one left is this one, which I think had the highest amount of concrete to extract, so hopefully it'll be done soon. Okay. We'll, oh, good. More technologies to research. Let's grab... What else can we grab here? I think I'll... I think I'll grab... I think I'll do a run on these three later. I think I'll just keep on going up to here. Let me try to get these two. I try to... I'll also want to try to get any of those... Like those little beaker symbols, because I know those ones give a research bonus. A one-time bonus. In terms of uh, research points. <laughs> oh, only seven colonists are Earthsick. That's good. Mm, but yeah, I think... A little surprised that these ones... Yeah, solar panels are still working here. Um, they require metal, and we don't have very much metal down here. We, we're, or at least we're not producing it enough. So these guys are still working. The odd composition of the oh. debris collected from the anomaly site has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. The experts all agree that the materials discovered at the anomaly site could not originate on Mars, but they're also in agreement that they are not the remains of a meteorite or a con contaminant introduced from our rockets. For now, it looks like the origin of the debris will remain a mystery. As wise men throughout history said more than once, the more we know, the more we realize that we don't know. A genius applicant is available on Earth. A genius? Who's a genius? Before I do that, let's keep moving the explorer up. Let's go to that guy there. Um, that's the wrong screen. Genius applicant. Who's a genius? Does it tell me which one is genius? Okay. If I go, let's see, quirks. No. How do I filter out? Oh, there it is. Genius. Who is this person? Oh shit, that is... Yes, I said yes to this, but I don't... I, I want to filter out who that person is. Um... Hmm? Do I have to look up it by one by one, maybe? This filtering system is really weird, because I, I, I want to just filter I'll just on... Applicants... Okay, generates research when in colony. Applicants with more of the desired traits will board the rocket. Applicants with any of the undesired traits will be rejected. What does that mean? Mm. Oh, because... Oh, the genius might not be included in this because they have... They have, an, they have a bad trait, which is kind of... Oh, kind of makes sense, I guess. Considering... I wonder what their bad trait is, uh, or their their flaw. What is their flaw? Is it because they're an idiot? Wait a minute. Or maybe they're a kid. Okay, hold on. Let's let's do this right. Let's remove this and let's remove this. 
Is the genius still... Okay, so... Ooh, okay. So, genius. I don't understand how this works. I, I, I'm checking yes, but when I click review, it shows me everybody still. Okay, so there's a genius. Dallas Jr. He's an idiot, and he's a genius. What the hell? <laughs> he can cause a malfunction at workplace. Okay, that's why we reject idiots. But he regenerates research at the clinic. So it's kind of like he's like a savant. He can't work. But he apparently can research this sort of stuff. Um... 10% chance of okay. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We're not we're not gonna bring him because that seems like he's more trouble than he's worth, even though he is a genius. So I'm gonna go back and reject some of these flaws. We don't want idiots and we don't want tourists. So never mind that. Okay, check our food. I think our food is. I have to consider start building a food dome. Okay, that one's still producing. It's producing some waste rock there. I really, really want to put that medium dome in. I mean, we could put a few more extractors in, but I don't think. I don't think I want to waste time to it. There's already lots of concrete, other concrete deposits we can go grab if we need to. Okay, let's bring Explorer back. I don't know if I, how, do I need to Research build complete. a cable here maybe? Because we know, I do know that power is, is flowing through this by now. So I think we have built, yeah, we have built the cable through there. So let's see if I can build... Actually, there's no drone hub in this area. So I wouldn't be able to... Ah, uh, I see. I can bring the rover, maybe. Let's see. I need, I need at least one cable to charge this explorer. So I'm going to do... Oh, I don't know. Like... Actually, maybe not there. Maybe... Let's do on this side. So just a little cable like that. Uh, it's outside of the range, so we're gonna bring in one of our rovers. I think it's, that one's at the lower base. This one's up there. So we'll send that through the tunnel. And Explorer can simply go here. Is there any surface metal we can extract from here? Uh, not really. Is there no metal? Oh, there is metal over here. So if I move... Okay, I have to do this very carefully. If I move the rover this way, unless there's any other... Nope, that's the only surface metal. So if this thing is in... Okay, I gotta get closer a bit. So if I put this guy right here... And then, this is, kind of, this is kind of a lot of steps here. I'm going to put a metal depot right here. So what's going to happen is all the drones are going to grab this metal. They're going to dump it at this metal depot. And then I'll move, the, move this uh, rover over a little bit. And then they'll build that little piece of power. I could just bring this into the tunnel, but I'm too lazy to do that. I'm just going to build that little cable. Mmm, <clears throat> still going, is it? 24 concrete. With millions uh -oh. of refugees and governments reluctant to take in any at all, a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented scale has developed. Doug... Doug in our... Doug in our struggle, that's a weird wording. Doug in our struggle to survive on Mars, we seem to have taken for granted that Earth... A place where there is enough of everything we need so desperately up here is always there for us should we need it. 
now that we have established a somewhat solid presence on Mars, I'd agree with that, um, and Earth seems to be in a dark place, it seems we may have the opportunity to return the favor. International Mars Mission has sent a request that we start accepting refugees. I, don't know, I just kind of did that already. They hope this drastic measure to get people to safety will highlight the absurdity of regional governments not taking in refugees and put pressure on, pressure on them by their own populace. 20 refugees want to join the colony. Accepting them will decrease the war tension, but could the colony support the addi this additional population? I can actually because oh it's a special refugee rocket and they're already here oh okay we do have space in Secundus right now all our other domes are full so I hope I don't get another oh there's actually a homeless person in that rock in that part there Okay, let's land... This is a weird colored refugee rocket. Let's land that one there. I think I will... You know what? Let's build some extra comforts in here. Just to help these guys out. Uh, let's build a... Hmm. Actually, there's a, there's a space down here. We can build a diner back here. And then we can put in... Let's put a space bar up here. Okay, so this is going to be a temporary place. It's not going to be permanent. We're going to I really wish this extractor would finish. Okay. And now we can do some deep scanning. Just in case that maybe these domes are near already near uh, deep metal resources, I'm going to scan these sectors just in the off chance that they are if they're if they happen to be right next to them New then there's arrived. actually no need to destroy these domes and that would be very convenient but I also need the technology to start extracting them so which I don't have yet we have safely landed in the colony. Okay. But that's the last rocket we can get for a while. Uh and we, we can we can land people in here just that they don't they won't have a place to live right away. Wish this thing would go faster though. There it is, so oh, it's done. Just in time. Okay. So I'll blow that one up. And then we'll clean that out. And then I will start planning as to where to put this. Uh, actually, let's salvage a few things here. I'm gonna salvage this little power cable just to give us enough space here. Okay, so medium dome. Ah, yes, there is. There's plenty of space in here. We can even connect. Oh, that's a perfect spot right there. Yeah, you can see that both the pipes here are exactly in the right spot for this, this dome. Like on the one on the top and the one on the lower right hand side. So that's actually very perfect. There we go. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go take a five minute break though because as I, as I said I wanted to wait until those extractors were done um, but when we get back I am going to construct this dome and then construct all the buildings inside of it and yeah I'll probably move the electronics factory down there put a whole bunch of different services down there it's gonna be quite fun so yeah all right folks I'll be back in about five minutes so uh, don't go anywhere 